Welcome to Crash Bandicoot 4 Developer Time Trial Relics Part 1. So this is going to be a series that you should not expect frequently. I'm just going to play levels every now and then whenever I feel like it. I'll learn them bit by bit and eventually I'll get the developer time trial and I'll post a video. But don't expect these videos to end up being daily like the Platinum Time Trial series. There might be many weeks, maybe even months between episodes. So it's just how it's going to be. These don't add to completion, I'm just doing them for extra content leading up to Crash 5, which could be years away. So I've got plenty of time. So I know I'm going to have to do this bullshit in this, like, uh, triple spinning is not going to cut it. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Oh wow, nice. It took my fucking Aku away from me. That was a pretty good run as well. I mean, you can do it without triple, I'm sure. Oh wow. Just missed two seconds, just... And they were the easiest two seconds to grab too. Hey, look at that though! On the dot! Oh wow. What a, what a fantastic run. Wasted an Aku. Missed easy two seconds. Controller disconnects. This would be a, actually a phenomenal run right now. I'm gonna lose that right there because I think it's impossible not to. Platinum. Fuck off, man. Just smash the bloody crate. It's those crates right there, because it's like, you've got to hit the bug. You've got to hit the two crates. Where am I holding my stick? I'm clearly going fucking forward.
Okay, so when I do it, it goes into the fucking ground. This level is pissing me off and it's just the one crate. That's it. No, my camera turned off. What the fuck? Yes! Oh, come on. Turn back on. What the fuck? Oh, my God, bro. Was that off the whole time? 38.28. I think... Let me check what that was. More or less a second faster. 39.27. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That was difficult, though. Ooh. And this is exactly why... I'm not going to be doing these that often, man. Honestly, I'm only going to be doing one or two per video. Like, again, like, man. <sighs> the thing with this, right? Well, to be fair, that level was shit because of the boxes. Like, you know the two, the three crates? You have to hit the bug so it hits one of the crates or the TNT. That's the best case scenario. But you also have to hit the crate. And, I, like, nine times out of ten, I will miss one of the crates. I, I will get the bug and everything, but I'll miss one of the crates in the stack. And I don't know how to, to not do it like that. Although I do want to say thank you to Garland the Great, because it was his run that I watched to kind of just see what you have to do to get a developer time in this level. This is all going to be about rope cycles, and I know that. That was close. That was a 33, probably. 32. So, look. I was one second away. That's not... That's... This is way easier than the first level. What the fuck was that? 
Oh, come on, grab on the... Seriously. If you're fast enough, you can do that. Is it 31.5 or not? No. Fuck you. Genuinely fuck you. Thirty-one seventy-two. Didn't I just get that? I I'm pretty sure I just. Can we just, bro? These what? Yeah. Just it just won't hit the two crates that he's right next to. You know. Is that it? Oh, man, this is too stressful for me. It really is. 
you know, a single jump can just be the difference between, like, these make Platinum look easy. Platinum are really difficult, obviously, I spent so much time doing them, but these make them look easy, it's not even funny. Well, 30, 94, that's decent. It, it was by uh, less than a second, it, I think it's 31.5. And I basically did it three times, you know, because, well, I got 31.7 twice. Well, there's two more dev relics. I've actually already got... F I've got two already before this. What was it? It was in... Uh, Mosquito Marsh. I've got Home Cooking. I've got Run It By You. So that, that makes four out of 38. Again, I've got until Crash 5 comes out, which is probably in about eight years. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you all next time.